Welcome to Burt Ridgeway's Learning for Life video lessons. And in this lesson, we are going to be learning Blackberry Blossom. Very, very fun tune. I almost made this Patreon exclusive, but decided to share this. I've got something else reserved for the patrons. And uh, speaking of the patrons, I want to thank them for their help. I could not do this without them. If you're watching these lessons, it is because there is someone, you know, this is my full-time job. Um, I don't get paid to do this. It is because of patrons who are supporting this project, who are helping me to do this. And I couldn't, if you're watching, it's because somebody's willing and able to give back. So thank you, patrons, first and foremost. I hope these lessons are a blessing to each of you. Uh, I would appreciate it if you have not yet subscribed. If you subscribe to my YouTube channel here, uh, there's a button right down below. Then that will uh, give you notification of new lessons and different videos that I post. And then also, if you would hit that like button, that like button is very, very important. And I truly appreciate if you would just reach down right now and hit that like button, or I could just sit and keep talking until you do it. There you go. Thank you for hitting the like button. I'm, I'm saying that by faith that you actually did. Uh, so here we're going to do, we're going to start with the tune. And uh, remember, this is not a race. This is a journey. Do not try to rush this. Just enjoy the process. Take it one step at a time. So what I want you to do is I want you to, on your banjo, most banjos have markings. This one does not. Actually, I think it does, but they're very tiny, uh, very hard to see. But here you have your fifth fret. You probably have one on your third, fifth, seventh, tenth, and twelfth. So you want to find 10 and you want to put your middle finger on 10 and your pointer finger on nine. And that is the first position that you want to find. All right. So make sure you find that. Now, this is very important. Take your middle finger and slide it down to seven and drop the ring finger behind it. This finger will come up in the air. So now you're fretting seven and seven. So again, 10 to nine, seven to seven. The secret here is to keep that middle finger down. Don't lift it. Here to here. Here to here. If you cannot do this smoothly, don't go any farther. Just stop and practice this. The lesson will be here when you come back. Once you can do that and it's smooth and you can go back and forth, then you're going to take that middle finger again. Keep everything down. Keep your middle finger down. Slide it to five and drop the pointer finger on four. Now you can actually leave this finger down because you'll need it down uh, for this particular uh, part of the song. But you're going from 10 to nine. Keep the middle finger down, seven and seven. Keep the middle finger down, five to four. And you can keep this finger down as well. And unless you can do this from here to here to here, over and over and over until you can make that nice and smooth. And again, if you're watching, you'll notice that my middle finger does not leave the string. All right, now it's going to, you're gonna lift up that middle finger, move it over to the third string, same fret, fifth fret, drop your ring finger behind it. So now you're playing the two fives on the middle. So go back, you're gonna play 10-9, Seven, seven, five, four, and actually you got that five down, five, five. Make sure that you can do that without thinking about it. So it's nice and smooth. If you're, if you're trying to figure out where to go, then you need to keep practicing and make sure that you can do this uh, over and over again. And then you're simply going to lift and you're going to bar the second fret, at least the first three strings. So I would stop here and make sure that you can play this um, because if you can't, it's really going to slow you down and taking the time to do what I'm showing you is going to really help you with the song. So again, one more time, you're playing 10, nine, seven, seven, five, four, five, five, bar two. Make sure you can do it that smooth. It doesn't have to be fast, but it does need to be smooth. All right, so let's go back to 10-9. 
and what you're going to play. And, you know, I'm just going to call out middle. It doesn't matter if you use the middle or the index, but it's it's kind of silly for me to say middle or index each time. I don't, it doesn't matter which one you use. So middle thumb, middle thumb. You're playing one, two, one, five. Try to get some speed up on that. If you can't get speed, that's fine. At least get get the smoothness of it. Now, when you move down to that seven, you're going to do the same exact thing. If you're doing this, pause, stop. Make sure that you can play this just like this. You want to keep that right hand moving. Then you're going to go down to your 5-4, and this finger is going to stay down for the first note, then lift it up, but the right hand still doing this. So you might want to just hang out here and practice that. From the beginning. Again. Now this is going to be a little different. I'm not sure we've ever done this, but you're going to do a drop thumb. So middle, thumb, first string, second string. Then you're going to come down and catch the third string with your index or middle, <laughs> and then your fifth string. I hope you see what I'm doing there. going to put your two middle fingers on five, which is your next chord position. So what I'm doing is I'm hitting that third string, brush with hesitation, and that same little move, the one we just did. One, two, three, five. Middle thumb, middle thumb, or whatever you're using. Sorry, brush, take it off. Again, sorry. Make your A. All you're doing is you're getting the first string, or second string, brush, then the first string open with a brush or hesitation. If you don't want to brush, you can brush in the first string. So here's your first, first phrase of the song. Then it starts all over again. Now, don't move on until you can play that much smoothly. It's going to get easier now. You're going to repeat that. That's all repeat. And we've done this in Cripple Creek. We've done this in Bill Cheatham. You're hitting the uh, second, uh, third string, second fret, fifth string, fourth string, fourth fret. So that is actually part A of Bill Cheat or a Blackberry Blossom. 
So you play that through twice. So let's do that. I'm going to try to do it very slow. Starting again. And you play that through twice. So that is part A. Let's move on to part B. What you're gonna do is make an E minor. You're gonna take your ring finger, put it on one at the second fret, your middle finger on uh, the, I'm sorry, you're putting your ring finger on the first string at the second fret and your middle finger on the fourth string at the second fret. You're hitting the fourth string, brush, and then the fifth string. And then a hammer on with your ring finger and a hesitation. So here's what you're playing. And you repeat that first two notes. So it's fourth string brush, sorry, first string hammer on, brush, then you're starting over, fourth string, then you're going to move that middle finger over to the third string and do a pull off, put it down on two, and then go to the fourth string at two. back to the fourth. So here's from the beginning. And then you repeat that first little phrase. So again. Or, there's several things you could do here. Then what you're going to do is slide that ring finger up to five, drop the middle of uh, Sided on five, so the first two strings are five. And you're hitting the first string, hesitation, and doing a double thumb there. So you're hitting first, fifth, second, first, fifth. Here's what you have. That's all the same. Then you're going to go back to the double fives, two fingers, just as we've done. So we're kind of taking two parts that we've done before. We've done that, remember? And then you're ending. So here is part B. Now, I said there's other things you could do. Just 
thing on the E minor. So this first part where I'm having you to do, you can just hang on that E minor and do, you can lift either finger. Again, it's, there's so many things you can mess around with. So I'm going to play it through for you one more time. Uh, I guess I'll do it at a slow speed, then I'll do it at a faster speed. So this is the whole song all the way through. There you have Blackberry Blossom. I hope you enjoyed that. I think it's a lot of fun to play, and uh, I truly hope that you have a lot of fun with this. Just again, take your time, learn it slowly, learn it right. Slow is not a bad thing, slow is a good thing. Uh, be thankful you have the opportunity to learn slow, and that actually that you have these lessons that you can go back to again and again and again. So, thank you again, patrons. Thank you for those who are watching, sharing, liking, and commenting, and we will see you on your next lesson.